welcome back to my channel, Cooking with Kiara. As you can see, um, the background is different from your what you always see. I'm at my granny's house right now. The reason why I'm at my granny's house is because it was my summer vacation in Japan and it's no school in Japan but it there is in New Zealand because it is winter and I'm going to the school there and not just to go to the school I am here to visit my granny because she's in New Zealand and I'm in Japan. We only get to meet her once a year. So we don't want to miss that out. So today we are making a thing called Okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki is a kind of food in Japan. And this is what you use, but for you guys, maybe you don't live in Japan and maybe you don't have these kind of Flowers. So today I am not going to use these. I'm going to use normal flowers so that you guys can make it with me. So let's get started. The first step of making okonomiyaki is getting just normal flour, put it in a bowl, salt, baking powder and some sugar and just mix it around and then you want to add four eggs and then some water and then just whisk it around okay you may think that this is too watery but it is perfect, you want it nice and watery because you don't want a thick base. So we're just going to put this to the side because we are going to do some sauce. Overseas we can't really find this okonomiyaki sauce. On okonomiyaki we put mayonnaise and okonomiyaki sauce but you can't really find okonomiyaki sauce so we are doing it from scratch. is to add all of this ingredients into one bowl okay so if you guys don't know this is melted honey and some ketchup and some soy sauce and some Worcester sauce and then just mix that around it looks like it and it also smells like it. This recipe is only for like one or two okonomiyakis, but you can double the recipe because it won't be enough if you're gonna make it for three or four people. Let's get back to the okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki, you always, always have cabbage in your okonomiyaki, so I'm gonna just put that in. And you don't always just have to put cabbage, you can put corn and whatever you want. You, if, if you like it, I don't know, like onions or something, you don't have to just put corn in. Okay, so now I'm just going to mix it up. That's it for the mixed batter, so let's put that onto the side. You can have it vegetarian, but we like to have it with bacon. But you can really put anything you want. You can also put sea seafood in it. Let's start cooking. Make sure the meat cooks right through be before you put the batter in. The bacon looks nice and cooked through and I Flipped it over so both sides will cook. Let's put the batter in. Try and 
shape it into a circle. I'm gonna make this for my brother and he likes cheese so I'm gonna put a lot of cheese on him. Cover it for about five minutes. Let's have a look now. You always wanna check, check your food so it does not burn because you don't want, not want to have a burnt okonomiyaki. Ooh, nice colour. And then return the top and then put it on the pan until it will cook nicely. Let's decorate it on the okonomiyaki. So let's let her try the okonomiyaki. Mm. Granny, you want to say hi to everybody? Hi, everybody. <laughs> this is going to be delicious, I know, because all Kiara's yes. cooking is delicious. Mm. Oh, thank you, Kiara. Mm. Beautiful. Thank, thank you, you, darling. Can I have one more mouthful? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Kate. And this is how you make okonomiyaki. It is not that hard, so I hope you try this. I'll see you guys next week. And please subscribe and like to my channel. And please share to other people who have not seen my channel. Thank you, and see you next week. Bye. Mm -hmm.